Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Jurassic World Evolution. I thought that because Jurassic World Evolution 2 is just on the horizon, it's a couple months away, we would jump into the original and see how we go. So I did put a poll out on both Twitter and Instagram and asked you guys what you would rather see, campaign or sandbox. And it was leaning more towards a sandbox park, but I'm still working my way through another campaign save file in order to actually unlock that sandbox mode. So while we wait for that, uh, I thought we would also jump into a campaign. So here we are on the first island, Isla Monteseros, I think it was. Um, and yeah, we're just going to kind of see how we go. Now it does start off with a little bit of a tutorial. So we'll kind of just make our way through this as quickly as we can, um, because I, I have already played through it. So I kind of know what it's going to ask of us, but unfortunately we have to listen to uh, Mr. Finch over there kind of jibber jabber away <laughs> and wait for things to load. So the plan for this series is of course just to play through the campaign and see what we've got going on, but also just to kind of play it as creatively as we can. So I will be taking into account, you know, layouts and uh, how the park looks and trying to make it look as pretty as possible. So like for example here, I'm going to do uh, two paths to our little incubation center. And my plan actually for this one, because I hate that it, it makes you place it like right in the front here, is that I kind of want to move this around. If we take a look uh, over here, we've got a little bit more area and maybe kind of making more of a backstage area versus a front stage area. Uh, but like I said, we do have to get through the little cam campaign part first. So uh, I missed what he said. It wants us to make a Strithiomimus, I'm pretty sure, because all parks start with a Strithiomimus. Can I make two? I can make two. So we'll have those guys incubating right away, make them nice and happy. Um, and I believe that is our first goal, because if we take a look at here, how the park is laid out, I actually really don't like that you like, because you enter in through this monorail, right? And then the guests come down the little escalator, and they're put right into the park, but then they're met with like our research center, our fossil center, our power station, our incubation station. So I kind of want to make sure that we move kind of all of this into a backstage area at some point. Maybe we can make a little collection of backstage stuff down there. But anyway, that way when you come into the park, we can have kind of a main street area with some, some uh, stores and things like that happening. <gasps> we are ready. The first one, oh man, the first one incubates so quickly. So here we go, our very first dinosaur to the park, a plain Jane Strithiomimus. So here we go, we got our first one, fantastic. Bummer that this one didn't uh, take because that just is a waste of money. But let's see, do they want us to do anything else? I believe the next thing is going to be to put down an expedition, ex expedition center i think that's what it's called as soon as uh ian malcolm over here uh is quiet and is finished warning us against actually being on the island we will be able to go ahead and do so i totally forget how pretty this game is um, and if you are new to Jurassic World Evolution, this is going to be more heavily focused on the management part of the game rather than kind of the building and stuff like that although like i said we are going to kind of squeeze out as much creativity as we possibly can from this, but it is first and foremost a management game. Am I able to make another Strithiomimus yet? Are you going to let me? No. I just want you to let me free. We know how to play. Uh, I just I just want to be able to build. So, yo, know, it's telling me about contracts. So that is the other thing. Down here you can see we have science, entertainment, and um, security. They just popped up on the screen here. So we got to choose our first contract. I always kind of generally go with science. Um, I don't know why, but... I do. So yeah, here we go. Build and power an expedition center. We're going to get a bit of cash for that. So great. Thank you. It's going to be under operations. And let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put it down here because power is already down here. We're not going to have to worry about that. And uh, name of the game when we first start is going to be conserving our cash as much as possible. I made a mistake when I was playing through this a little bit ago and just kind of like going buck wild and placing things everywhere. And then it becomes a waiting game. Then it becomes like you do a couple clicks and then have to wait and then a couple clicks and then you have to wait. And so I kind of really want to avoid that as much as possible. Um, I missed 
missed what he said, but this is building. So it's going on over there. I still can't click on there or anything. So I'm just going to have to wait for him to finish talking. Unfortunately, we do kind of have to just listen to him uh, jibber jabber on, but thinking maybe this can possibly be another enclosure here where they've already got this pathing laid out here. And like I said, a little main street down here, because eventually we're going to unlock some like fast food restaurants and, and gift shops and things like that. And then kind of shift all of this down here uh, over, over to here uh, once we get that going. Did we get it going? Perfect. All right. So this is going to tell us about expedition centers. Fantastic. It means we're going to send a little helicopter out to any of these little dots here. And you can see each of them do cost uh, slightly different. So 60,000, 75,000. We're going to stay with the uh, cheap ones for now. And we're going to do Edmontosaurus because it's new. We already have Strithiomimus uh, already unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I mean, are you going to tell me to build a, not an AccuCenter, not a ranger station? Oh, do we have a fossil station? Oh, we do. Great. We do have a fossil building already. So this is going to be where the expeditions come back. They're going to bring the fossils here and we're either going to be able to extract the DNA or sell them for a bit of cash. So that's kind of how that works. Are we able to make? Yes. Let's make some more Strithiomimuses because... I want to make sure that we have lots of dinosaurs in the park uh, to start off with. Uh, and I also don't want them to get lonely. Let's go ahead and check. Where did she go? There she is. So if we click on her here and bring up her little statistics. So she is happy now, but we do have to keep in mind health, food, water, comfort. And then this is their kind of uh, habitat requirement. So grassland, forest, wetland, and then population and social. Population refers to how many dinosaurs are in their enclosure altogether. And then the social is how many of that specific species of dinosaur there are. What happened? Are you telling me another one didn't make it or are you just explaining it? You better just be explaining it. Oh, dang it early on. We don't have too much of the uh, genetics for them, so I'm not super surprised. What happened? Oh, acquire 50% of the genome of Triceratops. Science mission one. Okay, we can definitely do that. Let's go ahead and start. We get a million dollars. Let's go ahead and start that. So we need Triceratops. Don't let me forget. That is what we are going to work on. Where is the Triceratops? So there's Strithiomimus there. There's the Triceratops. So this is the one that we're going to want to go to next. And we need to get 50% of that one in order to actually make one in the park. How much longer on this do we have? Actually, I forgot. Two minutes remaining on that. Um, cool. So bummer. I should have waited a little bit and then we probably could have sent them straight there right away. How are we going on here? Release. Release the dinosaur. <laughs> it's just a Strithiomimus, but I have to make it as exciting as possible. Um, I actually do like these little guys, especially when we can start playing with their DNA and, and mixing it up and making them different colors. But look at you go, you cute little girl. We have to remember all the dinosaurs are girls, right? They're not supposed to breed. It doesn't happen. Things don't go really poorly. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, so let's see. What can we do here? You know what? If we delete this... Am I, I'm afraid I'm not able to place it down again if I delete it. Only one research center may be constructed per island. Oh, so if we, del oh, I'm so afraid. I won't do it this time, but you guys have to let me know. If you delete this on the very first island, can I then purchase it and replace it? Because it says locked, but I want to make sure that I don't screw myself because I want to do the same thing with the fossil center as well, but we'll kind of wait, but let's just look and see what kind of research we have. So this is how we're going to be able to unlock different things for our Island. So yes, yes, yes. I know view research. Great. Fantastic. So we have genetic research, medical research. I think I kind of want to go medical research to start out with. Cause that way, if we have a sick dinosaur, uh, we can cure it real quick. And let's see, building upgrades, these are always good as well. And I do always tend to go for the Hammond success rate, uh, like the Hammond Creation Lab success rate. So this is going to increase the success rate of our dinosaur. So even if we don't have a lot of the genome uh, discovered, it still possibly will help us make a dinosaur. Um, and that way we waste less money. <laughs> that way when the dinosaurs do uh, um, get incubated, they're less likely to fail. We got some fossils back. So let's go ahead and sell that for a bit of cash. We got Edmontosaurus, 
uh, Edmontosaurus. Oh, we do have a Triceratops one. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and extract that one first. And then let's do Edmontosaurus next. And then the uh, Ceratosaurus fossils, our first carnivore, Morstrothiomimus. Okay, let's go ahead and do that and that. And we'll have to wait because we can only do six at a time. So we do have more in there to do. But that means that they're back. Let's go down to the expedition center. And we can send them out again. And we want Triceratops because we're trying to get 50% of the Triceratops genome. And it looks like we got some good fossils too because they also are rated by stars. So like the higher stars are going to give you more of the genome. Uh, did we already? Oh, wow. We already did. Um, where is... Can I look at our dinosaur list? Let me just do it with the Hammond Creation Lab because I'm actually curious how much that actually gave us of the Triceratops. 48%. Okay. So when the fossils get back from that expedition, that should be good. We should have that all set. Is there anything for guests? Oh, I can. Let's go ahead and place down a fast food restaurant right at the entra no we want it close enough to the power so i don't have to place new power so right there is great and then how about a gift shop as well right next to it we'll kind of just start our little main street area perfect yay edmontosaurus is ready now question being do we go straight for it because it's only 50 percent or do we wait and i'm pretty sure Edmontosaurus wants friends. So I think we'd have to incubate two of them. Um, oh, what the hell? Let's just go for it. We want some Edmontosauruses, please. So they can be released uh, into the habitat. Oh, hello. Uh, successfully incubate two Strithiomimus eggs in the Hammond Creation Lab. Couldn't you have told me that literally 30 seconds before? Uh, because I just filled up the Hammond Creation Lab with Edmontosauruses. But that's okay. That'll stay down there. and We'll be able to get to that in just a moment. So the other thing I want to look at is if we hit M here on the keyboard, we go to our overview map and we can see uh, power lines and things like that. But this enclosure is actually massive. So what I'm thinking we can do is if we just use some inexpensive fences here, it's the only fence that we have an option for, and we come straight this way and make a let's make a little no let's make it square yeah oh, excuse me can you get out of the way please and come out here and that way we can actually split this habitat up oh, you're gonna be annoying aren't you we can split this habitat up but still use the one ham and creation center because we're gonna do this kind of thing and we'll put a gate on this side and a gate on this side then if we take some fence and go straight, let's go more or less straight across and cut this in half. And that way we can have some dinosaurs on this side, some dinosaurs on that side. Now, our Strithiomimus, yeah, they did go on that side. So they've decided that this is going to be the herbivore side. <laughs> let's see if we can't, uh, I always click on operations when I mean to click on enclosures. Uh, viewing center. So this is going to be how guests see our little dinosaurs. And we want to try to get it so that the blue covers the majority of the habitat. So how about, how about right there looks good. Now the problem is all these trees is I can't actually see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of these trees so I can see where we put our path. I'm also going to smooth it because this is like notorious for having all this jagged terrain. And then fortunately it is kind of easy because the pathing system's pretty intuitive in this game. Um, it's just kind of a drag and drop in place kind of thing. Uh, but you can smooth the terrain after you put paths down, which is actually kind of nice. Um, there is no control Z though, which does bother me. Um, let's do that. And then we can connect with that path a little bit. Right there, perfect. Now we are gonna have to put down power for this guy, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and put a power line right next to it and then kind of run the power line parallel to the path over to, over to this little guy right there. 
Perfect. So now the guests, yeah, you can see it kind of cut out the terrain there. So let's try to fix this a little bit. Can we lower this just a bit and then smooth it? There we go. That way it doesn't look super janky. You can kind of smooth this all around as well. There we go. So they have a nice, nice view of their, their Strithiomimuses. And there's water over here, which is great. However... I'm actually wondering, I think I don't want the fence to go through the water. So let's go ahead and get rid of this right here and add in their water somewhere over, somewhere over there. Perfect. That is a bit too jagged for what I wanted, but that looks okay. They don't need too much water. Maybe we add, maybe we add a little bit over there too. And let's see, they were all good with their, yeah, they're pretty easy. Oh, food, oh my goodness. I totally forgot to feed our dinosaurs. I'm so sorry. Here's a bush. There you go. <laughs> wow, off to a good start. Forgetting to feed. Yeah, Claire's gonna come up and yell at us when we don't treat our animals right. Okay, what do we got in here? <gasps> Yay, they both worked. So Ed Montasaurus, here we go. The beaky, beaky one. Look at that little beak. And the little pompadour thing on the top. I also love the coloring on the front, like the greeny blue color. I honestly, when we when it comes to playing with genomes, I like playing with their coloration more than I like actually playing with like any of their genetics, like the helpful things. Let's go ahead and open this gate. And she should run right out to be with her Strithiomimus friends. And we can release the second one. We don't have to watch the second one because it's going to look exactly the same. Go ahead, go out the gate. It's nice and open for you. Get, get, go, 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 go. Uh, uh, did we get this back yet? Uh, we did. Okay, let's go back to Triceratops. I know we don't generally need to because this is probably going to give us the 50%, but that way we just have more of it and we can uh, successfully, successfully get some Triceratopses. There we go, two Edmontosauruses. And now let me see, are they okay? Great, that's fantastic. What I hate is when dinosaurs, if we go down here and we see social groups of one to 15, that's fantastic. Cause when it's more than two and you only have two incubation spots, it gets a bit tricky. Cause then, then you have to like incubate one right after, hope it is successful and that they don't get too upset in the meantime. So uh, luckily for us, uh, they did like it. Cool, so we got that going. How much did we actually have for the uh, Ceratosaurus? Ceratosaurus. I think I said that right the first time and now I've forgotten. 44%. <gasps> there we go. We got new viable genome. Let's do it. Let's go ahead. Oh, we're running low on cash. Hmm. Hmm. I forget if these guys like friends or not. Let me see. Let's, before we spend that money, we sent our expedition out, right? Yeah, because the helicopter's not there. Fantastic. How is research going? Did we finish it? We did. So let's see building upgrades. Um, let's go for inventory space. Let's go for inventory space first. Yeah, let's get that going, inventory space, and that way when we get to send off more expeditions, uh, we can hold more fossils in our in our area because it's going to extend it. It's going to give us a few more inventory spaces, which will be great. Wow, it extracted that DNA really fast. Okay, fantastic. How much longer do you have on here? Um, less than a minute, so it should be returning in just a few seconds, which is great. Um, how much, if any, we are making a profit, but it's very little. Let's double check. We put these down now that they're built. We can double check that we are making the most money we possibly can be. So what I'm doing is going up and down in price and then paying attention to this total per minute uh, to kind of find the sweet spot. So like you can see if we go one dollar two more, one dollar more, we make uh, a little bit less. So let's go back. So that's twenty two dollars whopping twenty two dollars per minute. Let's see. What can we get this one to? Ooh, gift shop is a big hitter. Oh, I think. Oh, eighty three. Yeah, I think eighty three. Eighty three. 183 rather 183 dollars 
an hour. Incubate, hatch, and release two new dinosaurs. I think we can do that. So science goes down, security goes down, but entertainment goes up. Yeah, that's fine. We get $250,000 for that. So two new dinosaurs. <clears throat> oh, and one of our missions is a Triceratops, actually. So let's just go ahead and do it. We can afford both of them and hopefully cross our fingers, guys. Cross your fingers with me. These both take. <laughs> and if one of them fails, I'm going to be very sad because now we are down to little money here. Did they come back? They did come back. Let's go ahead and send them out first. Um, so we got Triceratops at 64%. That is fine. Strithiomimus there. Edmontosaurus. Let's go for the Ceratosaurus because I want, yeah, I want to be able to make us a carnivore. Hopefully we can do that in this episode and then be done. But let's see what fossils came back. Just Triceratops because that's what we went to go find. What a shocker. Okay. <clears throat> So these guys are going good because the other thing I wanted to check too is we can actually sell something different. So let's see if we can't make more than 22. No, we can't make more than $22 an hour. Oh man, let's see. What about Dino Dish? 22 was the highest. And right now it looks like that is the highest that we're going to make. So bummer. Where did it go? Was it 17? There was 20. 21 is good enough. Great. Okay, cool. So we only have $111,000. We don't have a ranger station yet, do we? That's a problem because we are going to need to feed, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to need to feed our dinosaurs. So the ranger station is how we do that. And we need $400,000. So Oh, yes, they both made it. Okay, fantastic. Because that means as soon as these two are good, we will complete both mission uh, prehistoric life right here, incubate and release 50% genome triceratops. Then we will also complete this release two dinosaurs. And then after that, uh, maybe we'll do some more strithiomimuses. Perfect. You guys, first episode, three new dinosaurs. Look at us go. It's like I know what I'm doing. I haven't played this game in years. I played it when it first came out, but I played it specifically on console. And I played it all the way through in just a couple weeks. And I haven't touched it since. So I'm really excited to kind of revisit it. There's our little Triceratops. Let's open the gate. Let you go in there. And release our second one. Because that will do our second little mission there. We got a good good chunk of money let's place before i forget and spend it on something else let's go ahead and buy should we put our ranger station i know i really don't want the backstage here but oh it's okay it doesn't fit anyway so that kind of that kind of helps me make that decision yeah um what about what about over here that might work if we do right where's the edge of the map the edge, there's a there's a mountain in the middle. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, let's do right up against, if we can. God, it's got to be really far away from the from the map. There we go. Perfect. And then we need to connect the path like so, and we'll just do a nice little path. But that way we can put a little gate right here, and they can drive right in and get to the dinosaurs. Uh, we need another power station. Can I squeeze it back here? I can. Fantastic. Let's go here and straight across. Perfect. And then we need a gate. Can we afford a gate? It'd be great if we could afford a gate. Ah oh, man, spending all of our money. <laughs> big spender, big spender. What are we doing? Uh, entertainment. Acquire 50% of the... Oh, absolutely. We're going to do that in like two seconds. Because we're already on it. We ahead of the game, uh, Isaac. We are on top of it. Oh, let's actually go look at our... Look at our fossils first. Uh, sell that would be fantastic. Yeah, oh yeah, that'll do it. Four stars. Fantastic. That will 100% do it for us. Let's go to Expedition send out something else. This one has Triceratops, Triceratops, Strithiomimus, Edmontosaurus. Nothing new. Triceratops, Strithiomimus, Edmontosaurus, uh, Cerato. Let's just do more Ceratosaurus because I want to really be able to... Why don't you have power? What's, what's the problem with power? 
Oh no. Do we not have enough power? That might be the problem. Um, let me see. Can... Oh, hello. I don't need your... Thank you. I don't need your help. Can we... Oh, we don't have anything unlocked yet. No, we don't. Um... Hmm. Well, is this... That is extracting. So as soon as that's done in 20 seconds, uh, what we can do is we can actually deactivate that so that this can go and vice versa. Uh, right now, let's just check. Uh, their feeder is totally fine. So we don't need to worry about it just yet. So it's okay to kind of let that sit. <gasps> yes, Ceratosaurus is ready, but we need half a million dollars for that. <laughs> so we will uh we'll work on that uh let's see um so yeah so anyway oh what was i working on oh ceratosaurus is what we want to do but we also need to do two strithiomimuses and that will get us a bit of cash as well go away please thank you thank you uh incubate and incubate perfect so that'll get going on there. These guys are off on their expedition, coming back in less than a minute. And let's see how these guys are going. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at our little Triceratops. They're so happy. I forgot to check on them, actually. So I wanted to come down here and see if they were, in fact, uh, uh, doing well. Look at him eat. They're so cute. Perfect. And then we got the Edmontosaurus, of course. Cannot forget about them. They are nice and happy too. See, look at the blue and like the coloration on their face. I think it's so awesome. So, so awesome. Look at that. Actually, so awesome, in fact. Should we actually just take a picture of him right now? Oh, he kind of went in the shade. Dang it. Maybe not. Maybe not. I won't worry about it. He walked into the shade and now it's raining. So <laughs> not going to get to take a picture. Oh, well. Um, oh, Strithiomimus is ready. That was really quick. Perfect. The gate is already open. I forgot to close it from last time. Oops. But that's okay. She'll run right in there. And then you are shortly behind, which is awesome because that means this one is already on its way. Uh, it's only $30,000. So basically we got one of the Strithiomimus for free. So it's not super worth it, but worth it, I guess, uh, for the reputation's sake. Perform a successful expedition. Wow. Let's try that one again. Perform a successful expedition to the Hell Creek Formation. Sure. Hell Creek Formation sounds like a good place to go, doesn't it? Let's see, where is that one? Uh, Lance formation, Hell Creek formation for Triceratops. Fantastic. New fossils. Let's go ahead and check them out. What do we got? What do we got? We might actually, we might actually just sell these ones. Um, that way we have a bit of money to actually make the Ceratosaurus. So we'll sell both of those, get a bit of cash. That would be good. Um, what about research? Because what I do kind of want to research, that was the wrong button. Uh, building upgrades. How much is the, uh, that's outage protection, reduced upkeep, improved output. Oh, it's only $100,000. Let's go ahead and do it. We get results. Great. Pay us our 30 grand. Fantastic. Oh, reputation reward. Savannah cosmetic jeans. Cool. What a fitting uh, reward to get. <laughs> that's awesome. Strithiomimus time. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, what I think I will do is I will end the episode here. Do let me know what you guys think, how you are uh, enjoying this. If you want to see more suggestions going forward, like I said, on our plan for our layout, our little Main Street area, how we've got these set up here. I think we got a good start to the park. I will likely keep it running for just a little bit longer just because the money literally goes up by actual in-game minutes. And that way next time our goal is one, that usage, uh, that output stuff will be able to be upgraded on our small power station, which will be awesome. But then also we'll save up for our half a mil so that we can get our big boy, our big meat eaten boy and that way that will be uh that will be episode two so yeah guys as we let's go down and look at our our little pretty one with the blue on his face her sorry her 
<laughs> her face as we go down and look at this pretty girl with the blue on her face thank you guys so much for watching i am i already know i'm gonna have so much fun with this one and i really enjoy kind of revisiting it uh and we'll keep this going until jurassic world evolution 2 drops in november so as always, you guys, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like, comment on the video, let me know what you thought. And until next time, I will speak to you in the next video. Bye!